Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is April, your work at home mom, um, here with a new video. Um, I've been doing um, tips and tricks and you know, things like that for iMovie, and today I wanted to teach you guys um, an easy way that I found out to do an animated in-screen. Um, this is what it looks like, and I will show you um, what it looks like inside of iMovie. Um, now, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by, and thank you to all of my current subscribers. I really appreciate all of your um, support. It means the world to me. Um, you know, my channel is just different things. It's uh, makeup and reviews and subscription boxes, and I like editing, and I feel I should be able to do them all in one spot. So either way, that's neither here nor there. Another thing, um, I'm not sponsored by any of the software that I use. Um, these are just things that I found and I like, and they're very useful. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looked like after I put it in iMovie. Of course, once you create yours, you would do a, you know, a little differently and adjust things to fit properly. Okay, let's see if I can get it to play. So, of course, you could adjust the speed and, of course, you know, the the MacBook and video to be, you know, playing together and not, you know, so forth. So, this is what that looks like. So, I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to go into Keynote, um, File, let's see, I need a new screen. So, do, 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 so. is file new white canvas wide and choose my selection and go ahead and pull this out of here cut that okay I have a plain canvas go ahead and drop this down some and I already have a image um, that I chose um, what I did was I went to pick monkey and I went to design, and I put in 1280, 720, 720, make it, and I found this to be pretty cool and useful as well. Um, you can also, you know, you can just get a Tumblr background or Google some backgrounds, but I like making different ones. And so you would just, you know, choose your color, figure out, you know, what you want, um, apply that. You could go right over here to textures and there's a whole bunch of different options to choose from. I chose the water, but they were all very beautiful. And I have, I of course could click applied and I went up here and downloaded it, but um, I already have it downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in after I close this window. Sorry about that guys, but um, yeah, I already have it up here. So I'm just gonna drag that in here, drop it. Once you drop it in, you would resize it. Just resize it. So all of the white is completely covered. And I think I've pretty much gotten that done. And now, my next step is going to be to add a text. And let's see it. I'm just going to paste it in the other text because I know. I'm not. I gotta get rid of that. Cut. Cut. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna readjust that. Ah, okay. Thank you. For watching. Now you could do something like thank you for watching. See you next time. You know, just whatever you'd like to put on your end card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, and I'm going to um, make the text a lot bigger. I'm also going to change the font, which I'll also show you how you can do that. You go right here, and you have a lot of different ones to choose from. A whole lot of ones to choose from. But I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to move this right there so it's lined up properly. Um, that yellow stripe down the screen will let you know that it's lined up directly in the middle. So I'm going to place it right there and then you can go up here, grab a box, drag it over top of it, you know, to the finder and make sure that it's lined up and it's covering your text and you would just drag it across 
and then you go to advanced color fill and then you know you have a wheel here that you can choose from you can choose either one of these colors you know if you wanted to use a different you know color or if you wanted to use the white you know you could just go with that white I just wanted to show you guys that and then you would click on it and send it to the back you would click on you click on the image, the background image, send it to the back. That way your white border shows up. You can also change the colors of your text. Let's see. I want to make sure we keep it lined up. And you just do that. Move here to the color wheel and choose the color of the text that you would like. Uh, I'll just need to leave that like that. Go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to go into my finder, drop in Pinterest. Um, let's see, I'm just going to only drop in two for the purposes of this video. I don't want to make it too lengthy on you guys. Um, but I'll just drop in those. Um, and I'm going to have to do this to keep my Mac and D Mac. And then I'm going to drag that in from my finder, or you can save it to your desktop, just whichever works better for you. And of course, you would go to the corners right here, and you would, ah, you would not do that. You would get a hold of the Mac, make sure that it's outlined, and you would drag it into place. Um, or, you know, there's um, also another option I'll show you right quick after I do this. Ah, moving that back. just like this. Maybe if I would quit moving everything else. Okay. And you know just like um, it aligned the top up here, you will also align these once you get them sized properly. It will let you know that they are Like I said, you know, you could do a call to action across the bottom, like subscribe or something like that. But even if you don't want to use a Mac screen, what you would do is just the same thing. You grab a shape, you would take that shape, put it, you know, like if you wanted to feature two, three, four videos, you would just, you know, make you a box and, you know, you would place it where you want the videos to be playing at on your in, in slate. And you would just, you know, adjust it wherever. It's pretty much the same concept, um, but being that I'm doing iMovie um, tips, tricks, hacks, whichever you'd like to call them, this just seems just a little bit more appropriate. So I'm going to cut this out of there. Um, and there we have our social medias. Um, like I already showed you, I already made one. So, okay. Now I will go up here, add a text. Um, my Instagram is... Miss, not that. Miss April P seventy nine. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that there. I'm not gonna do this. Miss April P. And I am. Can also change the text of those, which I will do. You can change um, the font, I mean, um, and you can change the color as well. I'm going to change it to that. Um, let's see. Yeah, do that. That's kind of cute. Um, let's see. Ah, okay. Maybe go to, maybe go to the hard way, but that's fine. Okay. Copy. And change my text, change my color to bam. I'm going to do that. Okay, and I'm going to change the size right here. Right here. 
just remember you how small, how big, whichever you so desire. Of course, you want them to continue to stay lined up properly. But you're going to get the gist of it. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to animate. And I'm going to animate this back right here first. And that is going to be add an effect twirl. I like that. And you can always preview it right there. And I'm going to click on the text, add an effect. Preview each one of these, you know, as you make them. And I'm going to add an effect to uh, the font, which is going to be iris. That's what that'll look like. Now I'm going to move over here to the Mac, add an effect. I'm going to use the cube effect. Now, mind you, you have all these different effects available to you. I'm going to use this one. And you still have a preview button. And I'm going to go to the Instagram, add an effect, lines, move on to the next one, add an effect, lines. Now I'm going to move on to my social media names, add an effect, typewriter. I really like typewriter, and you also, like I said, you also have a lot of others available. But I'm going to use typewriter. And like I said, you can do a call to action down here on the bottom, like you know, subscribe. Um, see you guys next time. Um, previous video, future videos, what day you do your videos, which I currently do not have a set schedule, but that's neither here nor there. Like I said, you can preview each one of them, and then you can go right here, press play. Let's see what this looks like. And there you have it, and that's what that looks like. And then you would go to the top, you would hit um, File, Export to, QuickTime, and myself. I'm going to go ahead and put my build, my, um, go to next slide after to one. This is going to be uh, point 0.3. I'm going to change the format to 1080p. And then you would save it. Like I told you, I already have mine saved because I showed you guys what it looked like. Um, this is what that looks like. This, and of course, I would line it up a little bit better to where things, you know, would go differently. You can also go up here to the top and do a custom you know, speed, how fast, you know, how slow you would like that, you know, to go. Let's see. It'll allow me to show you guys. Let's see. So you could do it even faster, slower, just, you know, whichever suits you fancy. But again, thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please do feel free to um, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or if it has helped you in any way, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a lovely afternoon, everybody.